Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Rocky from Rockside RC. We're over here with the low rider, the 6'4". Yeah. So, you know, your boy got into the uh, low riders uh, this year or kind of like, was it last year? Yeah, when the uh, gold digger, uh, you know, dropped. So, uh, here we are today. One of my dudes basically at the uh, hobby shop, he was telling me how he's kind of getting out of the, um, the low rider scene. He's like, Rock, you know what? I got a few calls. If you're interested, man, you know, I'm basically just letting him go. If you want him, I, I see you, you know, are doing your thing or trying to do your thing with the lowrider. So, you know, here you go. So he blessed me, he gave me this, and he gave me like a few different chassis, uh, Monte Carlo, uh, a 59 Impala, um, uh, extra body for a 64. So, you know, I'm, you know, over here experimenting basically with certain things, with different things, basically. Um, I don't know if you've seen my last video. Uh, I picked up a Monte Carlo. That was actually something that I actually picked up for myself. And then he gave me another Monte Carlo, which was, yo, a blessing. George, I appreciate it. You already know. Definitely appreciate it, bro. But yeah, so I got into that. I uh, got a, a brand new Monte Carlo. The stock rims on the car, they look, they look good, you know? These are the stock wheels also. These are the stock wheels that also come on the Monte Carlo. They don't look bad from Red Cat, the stock wheels. Red Cat actually does sell uh, aftermarket Dayton wheels, licensed Dayton wheels, uh, wire wheels. So Red Cat gives you the option of uh, the gold or the chrome Dayton wheels, wire wheels, which look really, really good. Again, I don't know if you seen my last video uh, when I, I actually went with the chrome for the uh, Monte Carlo. I uh, have the black Monte Carlo. Um, I think it complemented the uh, chrome trim, of course. Looked really good. Uh, so, you know, uh, in that video, I was, I was actually kind of, you know, concerned or just questioning the fact if I was actually gonna like these wheels over the stock wheels. Cause again, like I said, the stock wheels don't look bad. If you're not worried or concerned about having a deeper lip and a smaller tire and all that stuff, then honestly, it's not really that crazy. If you're looking for a different look or whatever it is, they have these and they definitely do look good. I believe they also sell 26ers. Uh, from Red Cat, which is like a 26 inch scale looking wheel, uh, which I believe they are wired wheels also. I believe they, those will also come in chrome and in the gold color also. So in my last video, I was mentioning Jevries. Again, I'm just getting into this hobby as far as with, or this part of the hobby uh, with the low riders and wasn't too familiar with Jeffries, you know? Uh, when I got my uh, Gold Digger, a lot of people were mentioning, uh, you know, Jeffries, you know, wheels and Jeffries that are, and I'm like, Who, who's Jeffries, obviously, you know? So of course I had to do my research and inquire about, you know, who Jeffries was and he does great work, of course, <laughs> as, uh, as, as we all know. So I went out and picked up some OGs, you know, some OG True 13s. For OG, I'm calling this one the OG, uh, just because this is the the V1. This is the the first version of the um, the Red Cat Lowriders. Uh, when they first came out, uh, again, like I said, I was watching them when they first came out. I believe there were only I believe there were only two colors that they actually had available at the time when they first came out. It was either you can get either red or you can get the blue color. Um, again, like I said, your boy, you know, I like, I like both colors, you know, I'm, you know, I like the blue, I like the red, but you know, your boy loves the red, you know what I'm saying? So I, I was definitely looking at that red the whole time when they, when I, when I kind of got more interested into it and I was actually going to buy one, they discontinued the color already. <laughs> so I never got one when the gold digger dropped. That's why I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to wait. I love black. Anyway, you know, the color black, the black, the color black looks, 
especially on a like a clean clean look especially with that black and that gold scheme ah, beautiful you know uh even with the black and the chrome would look good i still would have bought it the black to me that was like just a a no-brainer you know buying that car so yeah here we are today again like i said this is the og right and i figured i'd pick up some og true 13s from my boy jeffries okay so let's see what's in the package which what do y'all think you think your boy picked up uh some chrome ones from jeffries you think i picked up some gold ones from jeffries which ones do you think <laughs> well let's find out all right I like how you package everything. I believe Jeffries also sells a uh, like a like a uh, microfiber to uh, towel. Also, pretty cool. Um, I may inquire about that. You know, just to obviously keep the cars clean. Again, you know, I see uh, the quality of all these vehicles that they're uh, that they make and the details that go along with it, um, they look really nice. They look really, really nice. Red Cat literally smashed these cars out of the park on the details and the scale realism of the car. So, what we have here, let's see what we have. True 13 Lowrider wheels. Like I said, you know, we try to, you know, do different things, you know, big things, little things <laughs> on my channel. And like I said, either way, just have fun, enjoy it, bring some, you know, maybe something new that you've never seen, or maybe something old that you've seen before that you probably haven't seen in a while. Like I said, just everybody just, you know, try to enjoy the RC game and, and just have fun. That's, that's, you know, what it's intended for. You know, for us to all have fun, enjoy it, see what this what comes in this this uh, comes in the box. Little sticker kit, uh, kit pardon me. <clears throat> all right, and these are your knockoffs. Y'all ready? <laughs> Y'all ready? You sure you ready? All right, let's check it out. So this is what your boy went with for the OG. So I want the two tones from Jeffries. I think it looks really, really good. You know, I think it gives it like a classic, classic OG look for OG, you know? So that's what I figured I'd do. You know. All right, got the first wheel off in the back. Like I said, they don't look bad. A little dusty, <laughs> but they don't look bad. And now this is the Jeffries wheels. Or wheel. See the difference. You can actually see through the spokes. I don't know if you can see that. There's, there's no. It's an actual flat in the back. See how better you can actually see right through. So it's an actual true spoke. Very cool. You can see the uh, tire height. It's 
a lot lower also. The tire stretched. Looks pretty cool. all right uh just so to show you guys so it seems like to make it easier you pop the hex in the wheel first very inconvenient but it seems like it works a lot better at least you know the hex is sitting flush inside the wheel before you actually install it because you definitely don't want to round off the hex, you know, or damage the wheel. All right, so, you know, just a quick tip, put the hex in first, and then you should be good. You know, make sure that the, that little pin, obviously to make it convenient for yourself, make sure the pin is run, you know, horizontally, flat, so you can literally just slide it on with ease or you know convenience basically so all right hopefully this uh goes on nice and neat i am expecting now
I guess some of the hexes give me a problem, some of the hexes don't. This hex didn't give me a problem, so I was able to just pop the wheel on without it kind of like feeling wobbly or the pin falling out or the hex not going straight into the actual, uh, you know, back of the wheel. So, got lucky on that one, I guess. This is the two tone version. <laughs> All right, two tone edition. All right. All right. Let's check it out. Let's see how she looks now with her new shoes. All right. Baby got a new pair of shoes, and I think she's looking good. Yeah. Yeah, I think she looks good. Mm-hmm. So, we got the OG with the OG wheels on it. The OG 213s. Looking good. From Jeffries. Sit this sucker down. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, yo, listen, it, it gave the car, oh my, it, it, it changed the car. It changed the car completely. The car looks ridiculous. It looks crazy. It looks real good. Um, shout out to Jeffries. Uh, obviously, the work that he does, excellent, great, obviously. I see why. Everybody goes for these wheels now, and obviously for your other products that you make. Damn.
these wheels look good. Uh, oh my gosh. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. The wheels look really, really good. Um, I cannot wait till their gold version come back out again. I know right now that they are sold out. So hopefully they come back with those. Uh, Cause I was kind of like waiting on these wheels to come in and see what I'm gonna do with that Dixon body. Uh, the Dixon body, I'm obviously gonna do some gold wheels on that, but I wasn't sure if I was gonna go with the Red Cat gold wheels or do the Jevry's uh, gold wheels. Um, if Jev Jevry's comes back out with those uh, gold wheels or gold Dayton's or True 13's, uh, no question. On my end, I'm definitely gonna grab some Jevry's. They look good. They look so good. They look really, really good. Um, again, I see why, you know, everybody buys these or a lot of people buy these. I can't say everybody, uh, but a lot of people buy these wheels because of the quality. The quality is, is great, magnificent, you know. Uh, the chrome details, knocked it out the park. The gold, that two-tone gold, crazy, crazy. I'll give you a close-up look. So you can see it also. lip you know nice deep lip on it got the uh, stretch wheels the white walls on it looking good looking good <laughs> so yeah this is this is uh you know one of my other uh, low rider projects that I'm working on um, and I say project because like I said he was he was done with it you know uh, look, it doesn't even, I don't even think it has a steering servo in it. Yeah, there's no steering servo at all. Um, I believe it does have the servos for the hydraulics, or for the hydraulics, pardon me. But, you know, it's going to need some work, obviously. But, you know, like I said, little by little, I figured I'd uh, bring it back to life. You know, it was, it was definitely worth it being that it was an OG uh, low rider you know, from Red Cap. So, and it was the color that I was looking for, actually. So I figured, you know, hook it up with some, with some two tones <laughs> from my boy Jeffries. Uh, but yeah, hopefully everybody likes the video. I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, we're, I think, almost up to 800 uh, uh, subscribers right now. Listen, we're trying to get as many as we can. Let's go. <laughs> Hit that sub button for your boy Rocky from Rockside RC. All right. Um, listen, we're gonna have plenty more stuff of low riders. That's what you you know you're into also. If you're into the Red Cat low riders also, we're gonna have plenty more of that. So we got this right here that we'll be working on. Uh, we have the Gold Digger, obviously, which. That's just a shelf queen. You know, it'll basically just gonna stay where it's at. Uh, this too, this is a shelf queen. But I'm actually, I have something in the works for everybody. Uh, your boy, like I said, since I got this car and I got those other projects that, you know, my buddy George hooked me up with, thank you again. Um, I ended up actually painting up a body for a 64 Impala. Um, the Dixon body gave me an idea you know, uh, the Dixon and the Gold Digger, actually, they both gave me a really good idea. And, uh, you know, again, looking at you guys' videos and everything else, you know, like I said, it gives me ideas and I'm trying to figure out what I, like, what angle I wanted to go with the car, basically. But um, I, I finally figured it out. I painted the body up the other day. I think it came out pretty well for my first paint job. 
I did a candy paint job. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, yeah, you know, again, I'm, I'm trying to do bigger and better things, you know, whether it's small or really big, you know. So, you know, stay tuned to the channel. Like I said, it's your boy Rocky from Rockside RC. Uh, we have giveaways. Oh, hold on. Thank you to everybody. Right? Thank you to everybody that's been using my affiliate code for Red Cat. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. It helps the channel out, which we greatly appreciate. And we appreciate you guys and ladies and everybody, you know, like I said, just doing what you do and supporting the channel. You know, we really, really appreciate it. So thank you very much. Um, I just want to let you guys know you are not forgotten. We really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you guys like the cards and the content that I'm bringing to you guys. Uh, like I said, I have a few more projects coming along. I have a Monte Carlo, another Monte Carlo that I'm working on. I have to paint the body up for that. Like I said, I'm trying to work it. I'm trying to work it little by little. Yeah, that's it. It's your boy Rocky from Rockside RC. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your day and uh, enjoying your RCs and whatever else you're doing. You know, enjoy your family. That's first and foremost, you know, enjoy your family. So, all right, have a good day. Talk to you. We'll see you guys on the next video.